Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this uh, circle of colors. It's a uh, bitmap JPEG, and asked how you could how you could draw this in Corel Draw. Well, there's probably several ways, but I started playing around with it. We need I don't know how many colors were in there. Let's make this uh, three inch squares. Then let's set our nudge factor on three inches. And let's make a lot of boxes. Um, make four, four that away and two down. Then color in these boxes with colors of your choice. Uh, try to make them a little bit differently, the ones that are touching. And, you know, just bright colors. Um, I'm not really paying attention to what colors they had. But let's go with those. Now, I would suggest take away the outline and group them together. And then get out your twirl tool that's underneath your shape flyout. Let's make it like 10 inches. And just mess this up. Click on it and just mess it up totally. Just keep going back and forth, back and forth, and mess it up. We could actually even maybe elongate it a little bit. You could probably even take the attract and parallel, you know, and really mess it up. I'm, I messed that up too much. I got rid of too much red. Um, Smear tool, maybe. There we go. Kind of elongate it. Then you can take it and squish it. Okay? Now, with that selected, go to your artistic media tool. Go to your brush tool. And right here is a save. And we're going to call this color circle. Because we're going to make a circle out of it. And you can see now my brush stroke is going to work and going to draw that, but we've got it way too thick. We can make this like two and it'll make some colors. Let's now let's take an ellipse and grab our artistic media tool and just touch it to there. Now we need to change the thickness. Now mine is basically a vector where this is a picture and it's pretty close. Uh, you know, maybe I could have done a little better job with my picks of my colors. But then you could still, with your artistic media tool, you could change that and make it thinner. You could make it thicker. You could play with these colors more. Um, I'm not particularly happy with it right now. Um, but I think it did the job. Um, just depending on all the looks you want, this is... You know, if you look side by side, there's just quite a bit bigger. So let's make it uh, 10 inches. Let's see what that does. Ooh, that's too much. Uh, four. Let's go with three. And theirs is a little bit better, maybe sharper lines. I'd actually like to try that again. Let's go back to, um, let's go back to the fill. And let's don't... Let's don't mess it up quite so much as we did. So I want to take away the outline so the outline doesn't show, but I want to go to object and group it together. I'm going to take the uh, twirl tool and I'm going to just twirl it. And then maybe, maybe twirl a little bit more. And then take, and with your pick tool, just kind of squeeze it together. Now let's see what it looks like when we go to our artistic media tool and go to the brush and go to save and we want uh, color. And you don't have to even name it, but if you ever want to find it again, and then we can try our bus stroke. And we're set on three now, so let's go to one. Let's do, so you can do any shape, you know, uh, Follow the shape. You could draw that shape with a freehand circle, but if you want it relatively uh, smooth, now let's get the artistic media tool and just touch it to that line. 
nothing changes, but if we go up or down on the scale, it, it will pop out. So let's make this like three inches and let's compare it to theirs. So it's a little bit big, bring it in, uh, make it, make it back to, make, let's go four inches. And of course the colors are different. But it does, this, and this was how this was probably created, because you can see it doesn't complete the full circle. And I probably wouldn't use that peach color again, but uh, it looks like they just use like four colors or five colors. And, you know, it's pretty close to the same. You know, you can edge this up or put in a number. And um, there's a little bit more ripple to it, maybe. Uh, mine is more defined. So maybe we could have, you know, like, let's just try that. Uh, if you're uh, bored with this, just uh, quit watching. Uh, let's make a three inch circle, four, well, hell, not, five inch. Uh, change our nudge factor to five. This time we're gonna go uh, 5.2 on our nudge. We're gonna leave some space between it. See if that, I don't want that many colors. See if that's gonna make any difference. So now we got a little bit of space between our colors. So maybe it'll give us that uneven look. Uh, we could do this, you know, you, you can always turn everything blue and then go back and change your colors <clears throat> to whatever colors you want with the Smart Fill tool. And you can make colors uh, I'm probably doing it again. I've probably got too many, too many colors. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try a couple of multiple. Tell you what, I'm going to make this one the blue and make the, this one green. And then I'm going to take away the outline and group these together. Let's see if that makes any difference. Get the twirl tool. We're bigger this time, so I'm going to make my twirl tool like 15 inches. And I'm going to swirl through there and see the white line maybe is going to help us. Maybe going to do something. Now squish it together. And squish it even more. And go back to the artistic media tool and save it as color circle. Four. I'm not even worried about spelling it. Now, artistic media tool brush. And you know, we're way too thick, but there's one. Let's try a circle and see if it's going to be good or not. Artistic media tool, just touch it and then raise it. And look at that. I think that looks pretty cool. So we've got some white between there. Uh, we can kind of prove that if we... If we would put this on a black background, a black t-shirt, let's say. <clears throat> so all the black will be showing through. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.